All right, here we go as we skate into what will be a, a busier pattern starting Friday into the weekend. We'll show you, I mean, it's, it's, there's a lot of weather going on around the country. We'll show you some of those advisories for our neighbors well to the west as well. Outside our window, it looks like this. Awfully pretty in the city, but it's chilly. 41, winds out of the northeast at 8. Now, I know that's not a whopper of a wind, but you still have wind chills. You know, at or below freezing for some of the cool pockets, even in the city, feels like about 36. Yesterday, it was breezy, but it was bright, just on the cool side. Numbers missing the mark in parts of the area, 54 in Newburgh, 56 in Poughkeepsie. Miss Shelley out in Montauk, better, though, around Islip. Nicer for the Jersey Shore. You're going to be cooler today for the Jersey Shore. The city actually squeaked out a 60-degree high. A little warmer, Newark and JFK. Everybody we have to dial it down with a shift in the wind. You look to the west, you see that rain with elevation, some snow. I mean, this stretches over Ontario, through the lakes, and then into the plains. And again, I mean, the worst of the snow, parts of Minneapolis into Wisconsin. Thankfully, Chicago spared much of uh, Iowa as well, but it's snowing all the way down into Colorado and Kansas. All those flight delays yesterday out of Denver, uh, mindful of some of the other smaller regional airports through the Dakotas. Winter storm alerts, blizzard advisories, and warnings stretch all the way down into the plains. And this would be additional snow. So we could add an additional foot and a half of snow. Wow. Through tomorrow. So, I mean, that's a real headache. In our area, we have to count our blessings. It's cooler today. We're down by about five degrees. We have a bit of a northeast wind, so you feel it. That gets dew points up. So, tomorrow, maybe a little drizzle in the morning. More clouds all day. Here comes a surge. So, we're at least five degrees warmer tomorrow. But then by Friday night, we see this front hold through. The problem is the chance of rain lingers through midday on Saturday. And then the National Weather Service has already alerted us to the fact that we could see, believe it or not, some river flooding next week because what happens, you get some rain Friday into Saturday, then you get heavier rain Sunday into Monday. So we're going to be watching for the possibility of a total of, during the period, maybe two inches of rain. So that's going to be one of the concerns we're watching first part of next week.